Hello everyone, I'm Elijah D. Welcome to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down After the Love is Gone. It goes just like this. Okay, for this first part, I'm going to break down for you the intro of the song. We're playing in the key of F. And for this intro, we're starting with this. So, I first played F at 2 with octave F on my left, G, A, and C on my right hand. And following that, I'm playing this melody line. So that's F, E, F, I'm using my pinky and my fourth finger on E. Then I have C, A, F, D. So F, and directly after that, play D, and also directly after that, go down here and play C with your thumb. And to be able to do that, it's important that you play D using your pinky. Okay, now for the left. So on the third beat here, I played A and F. So one, two, three, four. So I'm simply switching my bottom note from the first chord from F to A. One, two, three, four, one. Then on the next measure, I'm playing B flat, followed by F, and then A. So that's B flat measure seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to finish the measure with C seven, sus four. So that's C, F, and B flat. Then I'm going to resolve playing E and B flat after that. So that's on the fourth beat. Three, four. So I'm switching to the sus four. So from the sus four, sorry, to the major third. Three, four. Still holding C with my pinky. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's for the left. Now we can add the right hand. Two, three, four. So remember, we're playing this C on the first beat. And after playing F and A on the left, I'm going to replay the same C. like this. And then to finish, I'm playing this. So that's C, B flat, C, D, directly down on F, then B flat, A. One more time. From the top, three, four. One, two, three. 
three, four. One, two, three, four. One more time. Okay, so after playing A, I'm going to use 10, correction, I'm going to use 10th voicings on my left, playing this. So I'm starting with F, C, A, then G, D, B flat, followed by A, F, and C. So I'm going F major, G minor, and then F with A on the bass. If you cannot play that, I have a solution for you. You can play F, C, F, G, D, G, and then A, F, A. Okay, it's up to you to decide which one you want to play. So we're starting with this for the second part of this intro. And on the right hand, we're going to replay the melody. But here, we're going to stop on A and then go one octave lower to play this. So I played F, E, F, C, A, and then went down to play A, C, D. So. So if you're using 10th voicings, you can notice that I removed my thumb so I can play the melody. So. So I played A, C, D, and I'm going to sustain that note and complete my B flat major 7 chord. So B and F, B flat and F on the left with A, right hand. Okay, let's replay that one more time without using the 10th voicing. So it goes like this. Then to finish. I'm going to play G minor, again using 10th voicing, or you can switch to G, D, G. And then we have C7 with C, E, B flat. And for the right hand, I'm playing C, B flat, C, D, and then a grace note from G going up on A. Sorry, actually, we're going to start with A, B flat, then going up on C, then D, and finally the grace note. So that's the actual melody line for the ending of the intro. One more time. to finish playing again the F at 2 chord to start the verse. Okay, let's replay the entire intro slow tempo. 2, 3, 4.
now I'm going to replay the same thing without using 10th voicing. 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, let's replay it again, now at full speed. And that's it for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.